Hey there guys, today we are here outside Dark Mode, the third boss, the graveyard guy and we are gonna be farming this boss today and we have a quick method on how you can finish this boss under 5 rounds. So let's get started and I will tell you the steps on the way. And guys, don't mind me, I'm using two characters here. Oh yeah, and that's Bree. Sorry, I forgot to give that introduction at the beginning. <laughs> How rude! <laughs> yeah, very rude, right? Oh, I think they know that I'll I'll say something. <laughs> uh huh. They do. Okay, so basically, this strategy does not say that you need to mandatory have. Uh, a uh, storm on your team you can do this even with a fire or a, or a life wizard yep guys you heard it right life wizard and we are gonna show you how okay are you ready yeah this is gonna be exciting you know with life being the hitter mm -hmm. okay uh, let's go then Make sure everyone's in at the same time, first and foremost. Then make sure that on the first round, everyone does conviction. Like, seriously, mandatory rule, guys. You want to do the conviction because you do not mm -hmm. want the boss to even make you miss even one round. This is a forced round strategy and you don't want it messing up anywhere anytime due to an uncalled for stuff so you can get conviction from the bazaar or from people who grow couch potatoes and evil magma peas you can also get it trained if you're a pp corporal and right now coming to the strategy is that we are going to be using four fiends and the three of us over here are going to be bleeding up life. Now the reason why I said that life can be a hitter in here is because the boss um, gives a 15% incoming boost damage to fire and storm. Whereas for life they make it that life can boost at least 30 percent so that's the reason why we have chosen life to be the hit over here you can do the strategy even if you don't have like fire or a storm with a life wizard being your main hitter any tips for uh, people who are um, at level 100 and uh, using life Bri? uh I was just thinking about the gear that I've got, um, and normally I'd be healing in here, so it's kind of interesting that I'm actually going to be the main hitter. It's, you know, really interesting. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got conviction on there. I've got all the, the dark more gear, um, except for the Aphrodite ring. Uh, I've got the, um, what is it, the Alpha and Omega ring? Mm -hmm. Um so, yes, all the gear that we're using, I guess, we're assuming that everyone's 100 level um, and uh, the enhancement of the Forest Lord is uh, colossal. Um, so that's sort of, uh, yeah, that's about the highest for 100 level, um, uh, which you can train... Where do you train that? From Zafaria? Zafaria. Yeah, Zafaria's... Um, I think it's at that point. Uh, drum Jungle. Right, Drum Jungle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so assuming um, you've got that, then yeah, let's, here's hoping. This is exciting. And uh, what is it for, uh, for, in four rounds, she's going to be hitting. It's yep. really, 
Yeah, really interesting. The reason you want to hit within four rounds, guys, is because in the fifth round, the boss is going to be doing an abominable weaver, which, like, his base piercing is, like, 55%. And if he throws up the Ouch. catabatic wind, that's like extra piercing and the blades. Basically, anyone over here, especially if you do not have the gear, you can expect that the boss with all that pierce can seriously land an extremely powerful um, 5,000 damage. And Yikes, with, okay. Especially with all the overtimes the minions and the boss is doing like my life and Jade over here. Life and mm -hmm. death, sorry, are in Jade. But even so, we tried this in a different strategy. It went to the fifth round and my death actually died. He is a Jade with pretty high resist. But still, he died. Yep, he 61 resist crazy. right there. So the strategy for the Fanes is that the death will be using a normal faint, a potent faint, and a mass faint. Now guys, don't worry if you do not have a mass faint on you. You can also use the faints that your pets give. Pets like an avenging fossil, the culture pet, or the death armament pet. There are lots of pets that actually give you the faint. I'll be putting up the details for the pets which give you the faints on the screen. So you can check that one out. And life is going to be using a TC faint on the boss. So in total, by the time she hits, the boss will be having four faints on him. So one is a 70 normal faint. An 80 potent faint, 75 from mass faint, TC faint, 70. And then as for the blading part, the life is doing only single blades because she wants her pips to be building. We don't want her spending her pips by doing spread blade, blades and all. That's going to mess up the four round strategy. So we want to make sure that you at least get eight pips by the end of four rounds so without fail you want to make sure of that and myth and life over here we are, we are putting tc blades and you know the sharpen and the normal blades so let's figure out how this is going to be okay so i'm pretty well ready to hit and shatter on sure. myth go for it Okay, here's her thing. So guys, if you are like level 100 and you have got your gear, you can use this strategy. Also, by level 100, you get pretty decent gear if you farm for it at certain dungeons. So, like uh, Hades dungeon for the piercing, they also give a damage set over there so you can get those like as you saw sarah's damage was like around 108 so saying that if you have at least even 98 damage on your character you can still do this because four feints so many blades total overkill Okay, watch this space. Now and I yes, seriously guys, hope I don't. You might, <laughs> you might want to make sure that you have at least one of them is carrying a shatter on them on the last round, just to make mm -hmm. sure that you take off those absorbs for life to get a full on full hit. Yes. Come on, girl. You can critical. Cool. Go, go, go. Can she critical? Can she, can she, can she? She can. If she wants to. <laughs> hmm. I mean, like, that's the next test. Cri oh, there we go. Critical. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Sadly, whoa, whoa. the viewers cannot 
see the blades you're using up right there because the forest lord's tree is right there in your face. <laughs> yes, ah, uh, and he blocks. And there well, you go, guys. Hey. <laughs> Total overkill. Alrighty. Nice. I mean, guys, even if you have got mass paint on a low level, for a lower level, I would still recommend you use it. Because ultimately, you get the 75% traps like on every wizard. On, sorry, every boss. I mean, the minions plus the boss. Gosh, I can't talk today. Good luck on drops. Yep. This boss's drops are crazy. Give you a fame. Nope. It's an awesome thing for life, isn't it? Yes, it is. You own the Athame, don't you? Why don't you show the stats uh, to our viewers? Look. Change it yet? Can Can you see it? Um, let's see. Yep, there you go, guys. Spirit of Dark Moon's Thorn. That's the Athame, which you have Jenny Night Creeper drops for life with a triangle socket plus the health and two circles. Wow, nice healing boost you got there and there. <laughs> yes, yes, it's what I wanted it for. Seriously, seriously, awesome support. Okay, be right back, guys. All right, guys. I hope you like that little speed up um, process on how you can farm Dark Moor, the graveyard for your themes. And if you that like the awesome. video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends. And if you have any comments, then please post it in the comment section below. I would love to hear back from you guys on what you guys think. And um, guys, I have an announcement to make. That is, uh, the channel name has of course changed on my YouTube. In case you're wondering why the name changed from Akanis Warlord to Alan Isard, it's just to make things a little more easier for people to find me um people found people especially with no open chat would find it hard to read the name akanis as it's for, as only people with open chat can read it so that's why the name change has happened i am still working on an intro and an outro screen still so this video has none and Another thing is that uh, recently I have created a Discord server for my YouTube. So I'll be posting the link of the Discord server in the description below. You can check it out. You can come join the server and you can come socialize with people. Have fun. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye until then. Sounds great. See you soon. Bye.